entertainer or a singer or something like that several years ago. Yeah. A singer in Quebec, yeah. Singer in Quebec. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what relationship he was with our family, but uh, my brother is named Robert, but um, I didn't even, until I came to Canada, and I forget exactly when, that I was I given a clue that uh, this Robert Charlebois, who was Canadian, mm -hmm. was, this, uh, was a singer, mm -hmm. or an entertainer, or whatever. And, um, so then was it your father or grandfather who came from Quebec City? Grandfather. Grandfather. My grandfather came from Quebec City, and uh, his name was Alexander. Alexander Charlebois, and he, um, he, he uh, I think I told you, he married a Sioux Indian, mm -hmm. and uh, he migrated to the uh, Turtle Mountain Indian Reservation in North Dakota, mm -hmm. where my father was born. <laughs> and as I said, I didn't even know I was uh, any Native American blood in me, uh, but I do. I'm a quarter of Sioux. It's quite a revelation. I loved it. My daughter, who was born in Rome and carries both passports, American and Italian, mm -hmm. when she found out she was part Sioux, she was thrilled. <laughs> she said, oh, my. Because she is, uh, people have asked her in the past if she was part Indian. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know either, of course, yeah. And uh, oh, when I told her, I said, she, you know, she was part Indian. Oh. <laughs> now, now, we talked about this a little bit after the interview yesterday. Um, t tell me about After 100 Rifles, when you did spend some time in Europe and about your work there and just how interesting that was and how much fun well, you had. Well, I, listen, I, I was there for 10 years and I worked not only in Spain, of course, Italy, uh, of course, Italy, Spain, Portugal, uh, England, mm -hmm. Yugoslavia, and then I did uh, for a year and one week, 53 weeks on a picture in North Africa, Morocco, Libya. It was uh, an incredible experience, that experience. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody once asked me, I said, well, how do you characterize your 10 years in Europe? I was on a party. <laughs> I was on a party for 10 years. Hard work. Yeah. I do hard work. But uh, I was... Uh, it was just, it was fun. Mm -hmm. You worked hard, of course, but it was fun. You enjoyed getting up to do his job. Sometimes you had to do some tough physical things. Mm -hmm. uh, once in a while you got hurt a little bit, but I never got hurt seriously. Mm -hmm. you know, it was just kind of bumps and bruises. And but when you're that age, when you're that young, you accept it, you know, it's part of the game. And uh, I was... I loved it. I wouldn't have missed that too much. Now to go to something that's influenced kids for multiple decades, Gilligan's Island. You had a, a cool little role on there. What was it like working on set with, with that comedic cast? Well, again, a, 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 a friend of mine was a director on the show and he called me up one afternoon and one night and he said something to the effect. He says, listen, I've got a part of an Indian on Gilligan's Island. He goes, oh, I'd like to have you on it. And I said, fine with me. Yeah. Job, yeah. Job. <laughs> you do the and I you had a great you. time with that job. Great. Everybody was funny, friendly. It was just a great time. We just had a great time. Now, another one that stands out in, in your resume is the message. No, it's the message. It's, it's the considered, messenger of God. It's considered a great film, um, 135th on IMDb. Huh? Is it really? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. We shot that. That's the one that was shot in North Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, 53 weeks I was on there. I remember that. And, uh, you know, there were 22 countries represented on that film, both actors and crew people and so forth. 22 wow. countries. During that period of time, 53 weeks that I was on, 
there was one tiny little skirmish between two women. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who they were. Tiny little upset for some reason. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, everybody got along. Mm -hmm. Everybody got along. They were actually shooting two films. One in English and one in Arabic. Yeah. So we had our counterparts, our characters, and I would come in, uh, do the scene with whomever, and then we'd move out and the Arab-speaking uh, group would come in and do this, do the same scene in mm -hmm. Arabic, of course. It was tedious to a certain extent, but I'll tell you, uh, everybody, everybody came mm -hmm. There were, as I said, 22 countries represented. Nobody had any problems. We were there to shoot a film, and everybody just simply got around. Mm -hmm. Would to God that was the case in the world. Of course, yeah. Wouldn't that be something? It would be. It's uh, You can never find common ground, though, it seems. Eh? People are always looking for an excuse really? to start something. Is and it, it is an excuse, because there's no reason for it. Now, now, the final question, Madonna. What was she like to work with? You know, uh, I was on that show for four days, something like that. Eventually, at the first point, I didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. I just said, they want me nude in bed with the dog. <laughs> I said, I, I, don't, I just don't want to. I don't want to do the film. I grew up in old my agent said, you've got to give me a figure that they're going to reject. And I said, okay, I'll give you a figure. Congratulations. Get, oh, they're not going to go for that. I said, now you know. I don't want to do it. An yeah. hour later, he called me back. You got the part. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you, working with her, I've never seen her show. And everybody was saying, oh, mm -hmm. she was this, that, and the other thing. Congratulations. She was the nicest person, one of the nicest actresses I ever worked with. Wow. She, not full of herself or anything. She was a genuine person. And we had, there was one moment, uh, she had a couple of assistants, a couple of young women assisting her. And she said to her, we were on the set in bed, and she said, she said to one of the girls, where's the music that I like when we're playing? Oh, she says, I'm sorry, we don't have it. Oh, she says, but we can play one of your tapes. What, she said, play one of mine? Yeah. <laughs> that was her reaction to her own material. Wow. And it was wonderful. She was such a regular person. Yeah. She really got along with her. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. What great stories. And she was a pleasure to work with. Really. Right. And, and did you have any time on set with uh, Willem Dafoe as well? Or? No, no, I never worked with him. Uh, I, I don't even know that he was on the set. I, I admire him as an actor, and I'm sorry I, I didn't get to work with him. Mm. But that, what I was doing on that, I kept thinking, you're making an X-rated movie here. Yeah. And I thought, and what it turned out to be, I was on a, uh, a television set, a film on a television set. Mm -hmm. uh, and you couldn't even see what we were doing. Mm. I got paid for it. <laughs> hey, that's the best part. <laughs> well, thank you again. This has been so much fun. Thank you. Thanks. I enjoyed it. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Now, is there... Uh...